Forest Walker 111 saw my video review on my Gossamer Gear Murmur 36 Hyperlite and uh, politely reminded me I forgot to show that water bottle hack that we talked about. So let's do that today. Welcome to Blue Collar Backpacking, a channel about hiking, backpacking, gear reviews, and foolishness. We've got a bunch of old Camelback 100 ounce reservoirs and we're going to take one of those. I don't use these to drink out of. I'll use these for reservoirs when I'm hiking in places where there's no water sources available just to carry extra water. So what we're going to do is rob the hose and the mouthpiece. We bought a 20 ounce bottle just to get a sports cap. Now the little lid that flips over to close it off, I've already cut that off. And we're going to take a pair of scissors and we're going to cut this at a pretty sharp angle. And there's nothing scientific about it. We just want to get us a pretty good sharp angle on it. The reason being, this hose is larger than the opening of the smart water bottle sports cap. Squeeze the hose a little bit, get it started. Once you get to that point, ah, <laughs> then this is going to be hard to get it through. So what I've done, so I've grabbed a, it's just a little miniature pair of vice grips, a pair of pliers, anything will do. I'm going to grab that hose and we're going to pull it all the way through. Just check it with our bottle to see that we're reaching the bottom. That looks pretty good right there. Now, we've got our hose put together. We're going to open this bottle up. We'll put her inside. Now we've got our smart water bottle, our Camelback hose, and our mouthpiece. Now I realize not everybody's going to have a bunch of old Camelback reservoirs sitting around. So I did look on Amazon and I looked on eBay. And you can find a Camelback hose and bite valve for about 8 or $9. I had some Reflectix left over from... Some other project I did. It's been sitting out in the shed for a couple of years. What we're going to do is going to take and wrap that smart water bottle. Now, the, the bottle is full of water, so it holds its shape. And I'm not going to pull it tight. I'm just going to lightly wrap it. And I'm not just going to go around it once. I'm going to go around twice. Where the inside edge just about meets the outside edge. So we got a full double wrap. Then we're going to tape this off. And this is a foil tape for the Reflectix that you can get at pretty much any of the big box hardware stores that sell Reflectix. I've also made a bottom for it. And what we're going to do, I'm going to put the bottle in there upside down. <laughs> and I've cut out the pieces here to make a lid. If you still hike in the summertime, like a lot of us do, there's nothing worse at the end of a long day to grab your water bottle and take a drink of hot water. That's nasty. So we're going to try this in the summertime and see if this keeps the water cooler. <laughs> it's a heck of a looking rig, isn't it? Anyway, what I'm going to do is tomorrow when I'm hiking, I'm going to take two smart water bottles. One of them, I'm just going to put it in the sleeve or, or stretch pocket of my pack. The other one, I'm going to keep in here. And we're going to hike until it gets well up into the 90s. And then towards the end of the hike, we're going to open these up and we're going to use the thermometer. And we're going to check the temperature of the water of each bottle. Let's see what happens. Good morning. It's time to get out and try out our little project now. I will admit that double wrap didn't work out too good with this Gossamer Gear Murmur backpack. The side pockets are so narrow that I, I had to really squeeze to get it in there and it was just too much. If I'd had a full pack, wouldn't have done it. So anyway, last night I remade those. And uh, I made it just a single layer. 
which uh, worked out a whole lot better. We're going to check the temperature in each of those bottles. See what the difference is. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you think the difference would be after hiking in hot weather. Five, ten degrees maybe? I really don't know. We're going to find out anyway. Alright, <laughs> I think it's time to head back to the Forerunner. <laughs> we made it. My daughter sent me a text message that said it was uh, 64 degrees <laughs> in northeast Arkansas where she's at. That was not nice. <laughs> because it sure ain't here. Whew. Oh goodness. Alright. Now. Alright. Let's get this out. Now I haven't drank out of these. So I'm really curious to see what the difference is going to be. If there's even going to be a difference. And I'll just set that up right there. Alright. Then this bottle. We're just sitting in a pocket on the other side. I've got a thermometer somewhere. Here it is. And this is a meat thermometer, but it's really accurate. So, all right, first thing I'm going to do is take a drink of this one without that jacket. Uh, man, I'm telling you, when you're hiking in the summertime, a mouthful of hot water. That's not satisfying whatsoever. All right, so let's just, uh, let's see what the temperature of this water is. That'll cool it down pretty quick. All right. Holy crap, it ain't cooling it down, it went up. I'm showing 105.4 degrees. Check this out. 105.4 I hope y'all see that that's what your water is when you're hiking in the, in the summertime with your bottle exposed that's crazy I had no idea it was going to be that high 105.4 that's insane <laughs> makes me kind of anxious to try this other one now alright let's set that aside let's pull this one out now, I remind you, or tell you, that this I would only use in severe winter situations or in really, really, really hot days like this. You know, we've been topping out at 100, and that's putting the real feel at like 105 or something like that. Uh, oh, this even feels cooler. <laughs> I can't wait to see what this one's going to be. All right, Let's take a little swig of it. Oh, big difference. All right, let's see what we got. It's coming down. It's coming down. Oh, wow. We've settled in at 88.3. Would you look at that? I never would have expected that. Wow. Big difference. All right. Well, I would say that old 
scientific blue collar backcountry testing was pretty much a success. What do you think? <laughs> now, is this something that you would try? Ounce counters? I'll weigh this. Uh, and we'll see what this water bottle koozie weighs. If you're an ounce counter, you might get by with it. If you're a gram counter, you're probably not going to do it. But bottom line is I'm only going to do it in the coldest of the temperatures and the hottest of the temperatures. The rest of the time, it's, I'm just going to use my, my tube with my Gossamer gear. Now, I know there's a lot of people that got deals where they can hold their water bottles in the front. I hate that. I don't know if you've ever tried it or not. I, I despise that. I don't like stuff hanging all over my front. So this keeps everything behind me. It keeps the weight back here uh, pretty much on my hips no matter which pack I'm using, uh, and I like that. Hey, we're all different, aren't we? It'd be kind of boring if we was all exactly the same. <laughs> I will tell you this, because I've used this in the past, after you take a drink, squeeze your bite valve, let a little air in there. That water will run back down into your bottle. You might even blow on it every once in a while. Uh, in wintertime, really cold, that'll keep your hose from freezing up, but the main thing is, It'll keep you from drawing a vacuum on your bottle. All right, y'all. Hey, I appreciate you hanging in here. Y'all take care. Don't forget, the best thing for your inside is outside. <laughs> and I'm fixing to get in here and get some air conditioning. <laughs> Woo. See you later.